Welcome to the Master Dealmaker's Secrets Podcast. And now, here's sales growth strategist, John Blake. Welcome to Master Dealmaker Secrets. I'm John Blake. This is episode 122, and today we're going to be talking about one simple shift that you can make in your emails that will make a massive difference to your sales results. But before we do that, if you have got leads that haven't converted yet into paying clients and you want to convert, you want to clean up your pipeline and convert those leads into paying clients, I want you to head over to johnblakeaudio.com and you can grab an audio training. It goes for about 15 minutes, but what in this audio training, what I do is I show you the exact strategy that you can use to double your sales with your existing leads. This is the same strategy that I start all of my new clients off with and it works really, really well, even if you don't do it. You can actually train other people in your organization to do it. I've trained PAs in the Philippines to use this exact strategy and it works really, really well. So it doesn't have to be you making the calls or sending the emails, but what you will learn is the exact word-for-word scripts, exactly what to say when you call, exactly what to say in your emails, when to send the emails, when to make the calls over a 90-day period. This works so well. It is the most highly valuable thing that I could be giving away, which is I'm doing that very deliberately (laughs) because I want you to get some value uh, with me where hopefully we might end up doing some work afterwards. So Take me up on the offer, johnblakeaudio.com. All you got to do is pop your first name and your email in there. It'll be sent to you. Not only will you get the audio training, you'll actually get a PDF with the exact word-for-word scripts that you can cut and paste into your emails, flick them out, make some sales, come back and tell me how it went. Really look forward to hearing your success story. Okay, cool. So talking of emails, the most common mistake I see people making with email. So contextually, what we're talking about is you have been to see a client, you showed them, uh, or you you know found out what their situation was, you put pen to paper on some kind of recommendation. Maybe it was a, maybe it was a proposal for something, maybe it was a quote for a particular product or, or a particular service, and you emailed that quote through to them, right? One of the biggest mistakes that I see people make, and this is going to be a really short podcast because it's a really simple shift that you can make that will make a massive difference. You want to know what it is? (laughs) Okay, so I'll give you the mistake first and then I'll give you exactly what to write in your emails when you start to send them out. You will see a huge difference in in your results. So firstly, the biggest mistake I see people make is this. They attach the proposal or the quote to the email They send it through and at the bottom of the email, they write, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Regards, your name. right? That is the biggest mistake you can make when you put an email. Why? Because it is such a nothing thing to say. It is the lamest call to action ever. The thing that you want to put at the bottom of the email is this to confirm your choice to go ahead simply and then insert what action step you need them to take, right? So let's expand on that. To confirm your choice to go ahead, simply complete page five of the enclosed proposal, scan and email it back to me. I will then be in touch to arrange your initial session, right? Or you could say, to confirm your choice to go ahead, simply call me on your number and I will get you started over the phone. Or you could have a, 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 a choice of things that they can do. To confirm your choice to go ahead, simply complete the acceptance form on page two of your enclosed overview and scan and email it through. Or conversely, you can call me on your number and I can get you started over the phone. Look forward to speaking to you soon, right? Now, if you start putting that in your emails instead of, If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. You will start to see people that will actually take the next step. Why? Because people don't have the time often to ring and ask questions. They often don't have the time to take your call. But if they see an email with what the actual next step in the process is 
and you've made that very clear to them, a, a good percentage of people will actually start to take it. So in your follow-up emails, what, what I do is, is I actually start to put the call to action in like email two or email three or email four, and you'll start to make more sales. So these are little one percentage. You start doing these on a regular basis, they add up at the end of the year. I mean, this could cause a 10 or a 20 or even a 30% shift in the amount of people that will actually buy from you just by putting a simple call to action in the uh, in, in the tail end of your email as opposed to the, and I this is word for word, the default setting for so many people. If you, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Don't do that. Do what I said and you will see a shift in your results. As always, thank you very much for listening and I will talk to you on the next podcast. Cheers. You've been listening to Master Dealmaker's Secrets with John Blake. Subscribe to get more in-depth strategies to maximize your sales process with new episodes every week. And double your inquiry to sale conversion with the lead flow you already have. Go to johnblakeaudio.com for his exclusive free no-fluff audio training and companion PDF guide.